Hey there, welcome to another radio video on the ICON channel. This is, of course, continued um, instruction manual, video instruction manual, I would say, of your radio. So if you uh, have problems understanding the uh, ICON manual itself, uh, then uh, you might want to follow these videos, series of videos, and uh, we'll be explaining how the radio works. Uh, today we will talk about uh, the squelch and what it is and actually how to set it on a radio and when you need it and when you don't need it. So uh, a squelch basically is the ability of your radio to just shut off the audio uh, if there's no signal present on a frequency. So it's very useful because you don't want to get that shush sound, you know, like this, all of the time. It's annoying, especially if the communications are, uh, you know, every few minutes. You don't want to hear that noise. But the problem is, the squelch is a great feature, but it can also amper the reception of um, your radio signals. If it's set too high, for example, the weak signals won't pass through. If it's set too low, um, actually it might trip over signals or interference that might not be a good, uh, you know, a good idea. Sometimes the signals you hear are strong, but your noise level is high, so you'll need to set your squelch to a higher setting. So how does the squelch work? Well, uh, first of all, the squelch is um, by default always enabled on FM modes and disabled on uh, lower upper sideband modes which is pretty much what you want most of the time uh, you do not want to use the squelch on uh, single sideband signals for example and even on some AM signals uh, in the shortwave bands you might not want to have squelch because of the signals that actually vary from um, strong to weaker to stronger to weaker then your squelch will come on and off all the time and it's a little annoying so uh, there are times when you don't need squelch there are times you'll need a squelch and there are times when you'll need to actually understand how to set it at a different level so to enable disable the squelch you've seen it probably in the first video of the basic operations where I um, show you how to enter in a frequency and change mode uh, upper button on the left side of your radio there's two buttons here but the upper button here is where it's everything is happening you press and you hold first of all you'll notice that when you press and you hold the squelch is actually deactivated then you'll have to use the upper right dial button right here on your radio this is what controls the setting of the squelch but you have to hold that button for it to work so if you turn clockwise you'll see auto and you'll see levels goes up to level 9 and if you go counterclockwise you go and go back to auto and you can also go back to open open means there's no more squelch so you gotta understand open no squelch auto is the basic automatic squelch decided by the radio itself and the levels it's the level of squelch that you need depending on a strong signal or not for example here you notice that on this frequency my squelch is actually tripped by a little digital signal actually this is a signal coming probably from a cordless phone or uh, maybe a wireless router but there are signals I have a local um, cordless phone for example here that actually is very strong on 2415 megahertz and so you can see that I don't want it to trip so what I'll do I'll press and hold this and put the level to a higher level of squelch what you do is actually you go on to each level level one and if it trips then you'll go higher to level two 
So you'll go to the levels until it doesn't trip anymore. If uh, you've got that little signal that's annoying that trips your squelch. And once it's set, you just don't touch it anymore and you leave it there and you know that you've set it to uh, get out the interference that was tripping your squelch. But it will still be low enough, on level 2 it's low enough to even get uh, some of the weak signals. So you can play with that. Uh, keep in mind that if you don't have any interference, I would suggest that you leave it on the auto mode. So for example, if I want to listen to um, a local, this is a local frequency of uh, business um, communications. Now, this one doesn't have interference. So what I'll want to do is actually press and hold and keep it in auto mode. Most of the time, I would say that probably 80% of the time, the automatic mode of the radio is okay. And it's going to work well. And it's going to do its job like it should do. So that's the first thing. But if you need to, you might want to play with all the levels. Level 1, 2, 3, and etc. etc. Keep in mind that... The higher you go, the more you get squelch, and at level 9, unless the signals are really strong, you'll actually uh, miss out on probably everything, <laughs> because it's really, really a high level of squelch. So even uh, the, the signals needs to be extremely strong to, uh, to trip a level 9 squelch. Now you're listening to shortwave, or you're listening to the frequency band, where something is really, really weak, then every time you're on either the HF bands for shortwave signals or you're on a UHF, VHF band, but the signal is really weak, then you'll actually probably want to set the squelch level totally off so that it doesn't actually um, block reception of a weak signal. So that's another thing that you might need to do. Like here for example, I have an example that I could use. Here we go. This is Noah weather, weather. and I've intentionally um, actually lowered the antenna so that it uh, doesn't come in as well. So I might want to listen if I can hear it so what you can do is actually press and go counterclockwise here to actually open the squelch so that even if it's weak it's gonna be there on weak signals you really don't want any squelch because you'll miss out on everything so if you're trying to, to, to listen to a very far away VHF UHF signal or you're on shortwave listening to a, a radio international broadcaster You'll want to turn off the squelch. That's important because the squelch is not made for reception of very weak signals. So hope you uh, understand a little more about the squelch, what it does. Uh, remember also that the squelch, one thing that I did not mention is that if you want your radio to scan through different frequencies, you'll need to have the squelch activated because the scan cannot continue as long as there is um, technically a signal and if your scan is off the, the, the scan function of your radio actually thinks that there's, there's a signal present there so it doesn't want to continue it will scan only when the squelch is on so that's another, another reason why you want to have the squelch settings so this was the video explaining how to choose squelch settings, how to uh, turn it off, turn it on. And um, if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, maybe something you didn't understand, uh, let me know and I'll try to explain it in another way, if possible. So this was another video in the basic operations of the ICOM ICR20 receiver talking about squelch, how to set it and how to um, turn it on and off on your ICOM ICR20 communications receiver. So uh, if you enjoy these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of the videos we put online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. 
And thanks for watching 73s.